Before we get started today's video, I did want to say thank you uh, for all of your encouraging words, your kind words, your prayers on the last video. Change is hard, adjustments are hard. Just know whatever we got to do for dad, we are going to do that. And we're going to make any changes we need to, any adjustments, any pivots, anything we got to do to take care of dad, we're going to do that as a family because that's just what families do, right? And um, in the same way we had to do for a great grandma, we had to kind of just make some adjustments, made some changes whatever we got to do to take care of her. And we'll do the same thing with dad. It's still not easy, right? But, um, but we're here for him and we're going to do our best to take care of dad. Again, thank you guys for your encouraging words in the last video. Okay. Today's video, I don't really know other than uh, Audrey just got called into work. Um, so I need to go drive her in. Uh, we've got Alaskan apparel packages that need to be dropped off. Got about a foot of snow last night. My plow is broken down. I need to go replace a pin. It's kind of a uh, a little more intensive repair. Uh, so hopefully we can get out of the driveway. If not, um, I guess we could go take the snow machines and knock some stuff down to try to get through here. We got a fun random act of kindness today, kind of a special one. I think this is Audrey's favorite. And then also we had happy people so go ahead and send in their version of today's uh, random act of kindness. So hopefully we can show you guys that later today. That, let's roll on with the day. And in case no one's told you lately, I want you to know if you're watching this, that you're special, you're awesome, you're important, and you matter. Let's roll out with the day. Good to go. Another sneak peek of the uh, secret back door at North Pole Post Office. Can't show you the other areas, you know, elves, sand, all these things, but these guys are awesome. I sure appreciate the North Pole Post Office. Um, we just got those orders out. I think they said Friday is like the deadline for the Christmas cutoff, but who knows coming here from North Pole, but we do appreciate everyone that ordered from Alaska Apparel. So thank you so much for that. All right, I think all the orders are out now. So with that, I'll probably see you guys at home. My wife's trying to compile all the boxes and things uh, for the random act of kindness today. So we'll see you home, reconvene here a little later. Hello, happy peoples. Can you say hi? Hi. <laughs> You're so sweet. We're assembling all things for our local Eagle's Nest, which we absolutely love the people over there. They have 13 guys that are um, living at the home right now. So we're gonna go drop off. Look at what I found. I found men's holiday socks. How cute, all different kinds. Look at them, look at them, Libby. I thought those were super fun. We're gonna give them some sugar-free candy. They're working on some coloring. Um, and then what else? Oh, and we got little um, little card that I wanna put in there as well. Oh, you wanna hold these? Okay, here, come over here. 
Here you go. Hold those. Hold those for mom. Thank you. Anyway, um, super fun, super cool. We actually had another happy family. You know how I asked for like people if you wanted to be involved in this year's Random Act of Kindness? You could. Yes. Yes, Snowman um, was like, we would love to go to the nursing home where they live. Um, so they went around. It's I guess one of their kiddos actually requested it. And uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and send it to them and how they bless their community um, at their local nursing home. Hey guys, what are we doing at the care center? Penny, are having a birthday. Are we gonna make some people feel special? Yeah. yeah. All right, let's go guys. love it be able to see you all in your areas being able to um, do this in your community it's so awesome so thank you guys so much for sharing uh, your experience I loved it absolutely loved it all right so we are going to put oh my goodness gracious oh my goodness oh there you go we're gonna put these together and then we're gonna go deliver them um, over to Eagle's Nest and um, I'm thinking maybe, we're gonna see if this happens, but my brother-in-law, Rylan, uh, is a fantastic piano player. And I was like, hey, do you wanna come and do this with us? And be able to play the piano there because there's a piano there. So we might do that as well. Super excited. All right, let's get everything all situated and put together. Are you ready? You gonna help mom? Mama? Yeah, you gonna help me? Okay. We'll put these together and then we'll head that direction. We're gonna grab Audrey on the way too because she's just finishing up at work. All right, let's do it. Still strums are calling, but no one heeds their call tonight. Christmas, oh Christmas. Hi, Ryland. Hello. We come bearing gifts. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. And we come with a piano player. We will play some piano. You still, have, you still the have the piano here? Yeah, it's right here. Nice. Okay. Hello. Oh, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Put some presents under the tree. Is that what you yeah. think? Okay. okay. Let's go do that, guys. Hi, Bert. Nice to meet you. Bert. Your name. Uh, your name. Say hi. Say Olivia. Olivia. Hi. Olivia. Hi. Olivia. Hi. Oh. Maybe wish you guys a Merry Christmas and maybe you can play a little bit of uh, Christmas music if you guys feel like it. Jeez. No, it's great. Right. Bert. Yeah, I have you. Yeah. Such a pleasure. Yeah. Lord right bless you. Thank you. Sure you can. So much. Thank you Christmas, so much. Right? Yeah, Merry Christmas. <laughs> Yay. Audrey here actually was the caregiver for her grandmother, or actually her great grandmother, for a lot this, this last summer. That was oh. kind of her job. Oh, bless you. Hold your grandmother. She was nice too. Whoa.
Good job. This is great. I'm just really happy. This is Thank something you. like this. We don't see them anymore. Well, we appreciate you letting us come by and sing a few songs and drop off a few presents. For oh, us. Um, Merry Christmas. I'm in, I'm in Seventh Heaven. This is great. <laughs> <laughs> this is special. Man. Being here. Uh, You're amazing. Hope yeah. A wonderful Christmas. Hey, you too. Why would you have more time? Yes, sir. Oh, Brian, well done, buddy. Well done. Thanks. It was awesome. It was awesome. I was trying so hard not to cry, though. I know they enjoyed it. Yeah. They yeah. did. It was very fun. Thanks. They said you were a I'm glad great I got to be a blessing. All right, that was awesome. Uh, a little bit sad, though, to be real. This I one always makes me just a little sad. But what jolly people. Yep. Like, yep. so nice welcoming offering us coffee yep. tea come sit at our table go um hang out in the living room like and, and the people so that are working nice. here were just completely devoted yeah to everybody that was that was there yep. so uh, making sure they were taken care of and whatnot so yeah that's encouraging to see so if you ever get the opportunity just to even swing in like that was what a, a half an hour yeah, we stopped in for a half an hour and so it, grateful for Ryland being able to come. I've always wanted to have like little music stint, little dealio there. The piano was like covered with stuff. Like, you know, people have not been playing that. So yeah. to have that was super cool. Yeah, if you just get an opportunity to go and hang out, just go in, say hi. Think about yeah. the adjustments that these people had to sure. have, like the hard changes of like going from your own home and doing your own life mm -hmm. to have to go into assisted living. Um, it's it's tough on a lot of them. Yeah, I can only imagine living with a bunch of people that you really don't know. And we called and asked like how many how many men, how many women, so we could bring the appropriate bags, and um, it was completely different from last year. Right. So that means either you know we lost some, or some went to another uh, living facility, mm -hmm. one or the other. Special people. Yeah. And Audrey, I could tell definitely you connected pretty much right, Audrey, because you this was like your job with great grandma, right? Yeah. 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 I was trying my best so hard not to cry in there. Yeah. yeah. You did a good job. So one of the guys was like, you know, a lot of people don't visit now because, you know, they have these electronics and he had his phone out. He goes, you know, it's like real life doesn't happen. He And he's like, people don't visit. They really don't. So if you guys do get time to visit, I think it is important. And that, mm -hmm. that goes for us too. You know, we got to be able to do these things more often. More often these are yeah. special people that mm -hmm. live special lives that impacted I don't know how many people's lives. Amazing people and yeah. if you work as a caregiver, my hat's off to you. You are an absolutely amazing person. Yeah. So thank you for caring and the people here. Big thank you to them for, mm -hmm. for I mean even while we were there, they were just constantly moving people to the bathroom, feeding people, cleaning off the floor in the bathroom. Well, we appreciate you guys coming along being a part yes. and we'll send you to happy people's close out. Bye. Say bye, kids. Bye. <laughs> They're all back there. It's just really dark. Hi, happy peoples. It's Victoria from Sweden. Thank you for watching. See you next video. Bye, YouTube channel. through the streets of my old hometown. I hear sleigh bells ringing in the air. There are Christmas decorations all.